Mr. Trone recently asked Bill Nelson, who is the chief administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, about what his thoughts were on China visiting the far side of the moon. Bill Nelson responded with the following. They are going to have a lander on the far side of the moon, which is the side which is always dark. We are not planning to go there, it's always dark, and we have no idea what's on the backside of the moon. End quote. In contemplating the rationale behind NASA's swift dismissal of the proposal to embark on a mission, numerous individuals raised queries. One individual opined that given humanity's lack of prior exploration on that front, what certainty could there be in proclaiming NASA's disinterest in such ventures without hesitation? The firmness exhibited in the administrator's response sparked intrigue among many observers. The immediate termination of the idea to journey to this uncharted territory prompted skepticism and fueled a discourse on the underlying reasons driving NASA's stance. NASA's administrator seemingly disregarded such a mission, leading to speculations about NASA's awareness regarding the mysteries of the far side of the moon. This oversight has fueled discussions about the extent of NASA's knowledge about what lies beyond the visible surface of our celestial neighbor. The lack of consideration given to this specific mission has prompted individuals to question whether NASA has adequate insights into the hidden facets of the Moon. While there hasn't been any formal declaration, NASA employees have circulated intriguing anecdotes through the years regarding the rationale behind NASA's interest in revisiting the far side of the Moon. These stories, although not confirmed, have sparked curiosity and speculation within the scientific community. The Moon, Earth's only natural satellite, has long been a source of fascination and mystery for humanity. While much of its surface has been explored and studied, there remains one area that continues to pique the interest of researchers and investigators alike, the far side of the moon. The far side of the moon, also known as the dark side due to its perpetual facing away from Earth, presents unique challenges and opportunities for exploration. Unlike the near side, which is visible from Earth and has been extensively mapped and photographed, the far side remained largely uncharted until the advent of space exploration. One of the most compelling aspects of UFO sightings on the far side of the moon is the sheer number of eyewitness accounts and photographic evidence that have emerged over the years. Astronauts, astronomers, and amateur astronomers alike have reported seeing anomalous objects in the vicinity of the moon, ranging from strange lights and disc-shaped objects to triangular craft and cigar-shaped UFOs. Photographic evidence of UFOs on the far side of the moon has also captured the imagination of researchers and UFO enthusiasts. Images taken by spacecraft, such as NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and the Chinese Chang'e missions, have revealed strange anomalies and unidentified objects in the lunar sky. These images, often circulated online and scrutinized by experts, depict objects that appear to defy conventional explanations and raise questions about their origin and purpose. Eyewitness testimony from astronauts who have orbited or traveled to the moon further adds to the credibility of UFO sightings on the far side. Several Apollo astronauts, including Edgar Mitchell, Buzz Aldrin, and Gordon Cooper, have publicly acknowledged witnessing anomalous objects or lights during their lunar missions. While skeptics may dismiss these accounts as hallucinations or misinterpretations, the credibility and reputation of the astronauts lend credence to their claims. One of the most famous incidents involving UFOs on the far side of the moon occurred during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. According to reports, astronaut Neil Armstrong allegedly saw a fleet of UFOs hovering above the lunar surface shortly after landing on the moon. Armstrong reportedly relayed this encounter to mission control using coded language, prompting speculation about the true nature of the objects and the possibility of a government cover-up. The implications of UFO sightings on the far side of the moon are profound and far-reaching. If confirmed, such encounters could provide compelling evidence of extraterrestrial visitation and advanced technological capabilities beyond our current understanding. Furthermore, the presence of UFOs in close proximity to the moon raises questions about the moon's significance as a potential base or staging ground for extraterrestrial civilizations. Despite the abundance of eyewitness accounts and photographic evidence, skeptics remain unconvinced of the reality of UFOs on the far side of the moon. Critics argue that many sightings can be attributed to natural phenomena, optical illusions or camera artifacts, 
and that there is insufficient evidence to support claims of extraterrestrial activity. Furthermore, the lack of official acknowledgement or disclosure from space agencies such as NASA and the European Space Agency fuels speculation and theories about a government cover-up. From the perspective that UFOs are real and genuine, the Moon holds a significant allure for extraterrestrial visitors, prompting speculation about why they would be interested in Earth's only natural satellite. The Moon's proximity to Earth makes it an ideal vantage point for observing our planet and its inhabitants. UFOs stationed or traversing near the Moon could monitor human activity, technological advancements, and environmental changes from a discreet position. This strategic advantage allows them to gather valuable intelligence without directly engaging with Earth's inhabitants. While the Moon is barren and devoid of life as we know it, it may harbor valuable resources or minerals that could be of interest to extraterrestrial civilizations. UFOs could be conducting surveys or assessments to determine the feasibility of exploiting lunar resources for their own purposes, such as fuel, raw materials, or rare elements essential for advanced technology. Just as humans have sent spacecraft to explore the Moon's surface, extraterrestrial beings may be conducting their own scientific investigations of Earth's satellite. UFOs equipped with advanced sensors, instruments and imaging technology could be studying the Moon's geology, atmosphere and magnetic field to deepen their understanding of celestial bodies and planetary formation. Speculation abounds regarding the possibility of the Moon serving as a strategic base or outpost for extraterrestrial civilizations. UFOs observed near the Moon may be conducting reconnaissance or surveillance missions in preparation for establishing a permanent presence or staging ground for further exploration of the solar system. The Moon's lack of atmosphere and relative isolation make it an attractive location for covert operations or clandestine activities. Despite its allure and potential scientific value, exploration of this enigmatic region has been limited for several reasons. One of the primary challenges in exploring the far side of the Moon is the lack of direct communication with Earth. Unlike the near side, which faces Earth and enjoys direct line-of-sight communication, the far side is perpetually hidden from view. This means that spacecraft or rovers exploring the far side require relay satellites or other communication methods to maintain contact with Earth-based controllers. These additional communication links add complexity and cost to exploration missions. Another obstacle to exploring the far side of the Moon is the limited visibility of its surface features. While the near side has been extensively mapped and photographed, the far side remains relatively uncharted. Without direct observation, scientists have less data about surface terrain, topography and potential landing sites. This lack of information makes planning missions to the far side more challenging, as spacecraft must rely on remote sensing and orbital reconnaissance to identify suitable locations for exploration. Furthermore, the far side of the Moon is exposed to higher levels of cosmic radiation compared to the near side. This increased radiation poses potential risks to spacecraft and human explorers, necessitating additional shielding and safety precautions for missions to this region. Protecting astronauts from radiation exposure is a significant technical challenge that must be addressed before crewed missions to the far side can be undertaken. Selecting safe and scientifically interesting landing sites on the far side of the Moon is another obstacle to exploration. Without direct observation, scientists must rely on data from orbital missions, remote sensing instruments, and lunar reconnaissance to assess potential landing sites. Factors such as terrain ruggedness, surface composition, and proximity to scientifically significant features must be carefully considered when selecting landing sites for exploration missions. Despite these challenges, interest in exploring the far side of the Moon remains high. The far side offers unique scientific opportunities, including the study of lunar geology, the search for water ice in permanently shadowed craters, and the investigation of cosmic radiation. Future missions, such as NASA's Artemis program and international collaboration efforts, aim to overcome these obstacles and unlock the mysteries of the lunar far side. Through continued exploration and scientific discovery, we can gain a deeper understanding of Earth's nearest celestial neighbor and our place in the cosmos. So, what do you make of this mysterious photograph? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below.
and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.